now and take a look at this. This is flash flooding here in Cuyahoga Falls after another round of severe weather hit parts of Northeast Ohio. You can see cars stuck in the floodwaters, obviously, and right now our David Greenberg is live in Cuyahoga Falls and David, things looking a little different now. Yeah, Dave, definitely uh, a lot different this morning. Our crew kind of drove around and, and we couldn't find any of that flood water. Thankfully, it has receded since then. But yeah, take a look at the video from our crews out here in Cuyahoga Falls last night. I mean, just sh some shocking images, water completely covering parts of the road. And like I said, we were driving around trying to find that. But again, it's since receded. But you see those cars stranded there in the middle of the road. The barricades were up, those street closures as well. Our crew on scene actually spoke with one man who saw this all happen. The floodwaters rush in so fast and called 911. Just, I just drove through it five minutes earlier. It was this deep. And then I see the cars backing up here. And then next thing you know, it's 10 feet deep. Just I can't even imagine what that must have looked like last night. Again, thankfully, looks a lot different out here. Did put a call into the fire department this morning. They did say they do not have any active road closures at this time. So that is definitely the good news here in Cuyahoga Falls. Dave? Yeah, perspective there for sure. And to think some people woke up and was like, didn't even rain here. Obviously a lot there. All right, David, thank you. Meantime, our Candace Harris in Barberton, where flooding is still a concern. Candace, what do you see there right now? Yes, Isabel, I'm near Barberton High School. I want to give you a look behind me. This is Barber Road, and uh, as we mentioned before, I mean, it looks almost like a river. Luckily, in this area, there is quite a bit of signage because this is a road that can be prone to, to flooding, but if you remove those signs, just looking down that way, you would think it was just a body of water. That's how much it is flooded at this point in time. I can tell you I was walking up and down a little bit and some of the areas where the water has started to recede a bit, you see that mud, thick mud. It almost looks like sludge. So something to keep in mind, even when this water moves out of the area. Uh, what you're looking at now, that's some flooding that we saw in Akron last night. At the time, waters were extremely high. Several cars, people had to abandon those vehicles and leave them in the area. I can tell you if you look at the video that we have since got today, that new footage we've seen in many areas out there in Akron, the water has receded. Most of those cars have been moved out of the way as well. And what you have left there is that mud, that debris that is then left in the road. And you gotta have to wait for that to be cleaned up as well. But over here in Barberton, this road, Barber Road, I can tell you that a police officer that came through the area, he said this road is prone to flooding, but it doesn't flood nearly as often now as it once did, and he did say this amount of flooding is definitely more than usual. Isabel? Absolutely. A significant amount of water we can see there. Hopefully that dissipates soon. Candace, thank you.